Hey guys, Albert here with Toolmoto, and today I want to show you what I've been working on for the last few weeks. This is my 2005 Mustang GT, and uh, for the last few weeks I've been working on installing a supercharger. And I thought it'd be cool to give you a little history of uh, kind of how this particular kit that I installed came about and, uh, and what it's all about. So uh, this is a 2005 Mustang GT. It's a 4.6 liter, three valve, single overhead cam V8 engine. And, uh, and so they made the Mustang GT, which is about 300 horsepower. And then you could, starting in 07, uh, they started making the Shelby GT500s. Now the GT500s were a 5.4 liter V8, dual overhead cam, four valve uh, motor, and they were supercharged from the factory. Well, if you had a GT500 and you wanted to go faster, what you would do is you would upgrade your supercharger to a larger supercharger that moved more air, pushed more air into the motor. And so you would then uh, replace this supercharger with that bigger one, and you would take this old supercharger and you put it on the shelf in your garage because you couldn't stand to throw it out. Surely it was worth something. But it turns out there was really nothing you could do with these superchargers. And so uh, guys would come along and say, hey, how much for the superchargers? Well, geez, a couple hundred bucks is yours. Well, guys would go then investigate what it took to install one of these superchargers on their Mustang GT and found out there was no way to do it. Now there are supercharger kits available from these um, Edelbrock um, uh, Several different folks who make supercharger kits for them. So there are options to supercharge these cars uh, But there was not any way to use this supercharger So part of the appeal was that these superchargers were readily available from the GT 500 guys that upgraded and they were cheap and so you think, gee, surely I could save some money by uh, figuring out a way to put this supercharger on my car. Well, I think back in about 2012 or so, a gentleman named Jason for, uh, developed this manifold. And Jason has since formed uh, a company, a business. It's called Department of Boost. And uh, he's uh, online, departmentofboost.com. Uh, Facebook group, Department of Boost Owners, a good place for information. And then there's also some threads and some of the Mustang forums that go back a little ways from when this first developed. And you can uh, spend hours reading that and, and, and learning lots about this kit. If you have one of these cars, you're interested in doing this. But uh, so what he did is develop this aluminum CNC uh, billet aluminum intake manifold. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful manifold. And... Uh, but just a beautiful manifold and uh, just a really, really nice uh, deal. So part of the appeal for me to buying this kit was a couple of things. One is that it uses mostly all OEM4 parts with the exception of his manifold and a few things. Um, but for the most part, it uses all OEM4 parts, which appealed to me because these are good quality parts. They were production parts from the GT500. The GT500 was a very reliable uh, machine right off the showroom floor with great horsepower and so and then the other appeal to it was that uh, uh, the biggest the biggest expense was saving up to buy the manifold so when you order your manifold from him I think I'd wrote a check for $750 and he'll make it and then before he ships you got to send the balance so so if you can save up a little money get your deposit to him and then within the next uh, little bit of time uh, get the balance uh, available to send out to uh, to him and then he ships your manifold when it's built and so normally these, these intake manifolds, he calls this the GT450, uh, I think because it's typically going to make around 450 horsepower, um, it normally sells, I want to say, 22, 2300 bucks. But a couple times a year, or at least once a year, usually at the beginning of the year, he does a group buy. And I just happened to stumble into that this year. Uh, I wasn't aware of this kit. I've had this car since 2009, and... Uh, and this car has 15,000 miles on it. It's an 05 and it has 15,000 miles on it. And uh, so I don't drive it a lot. It sits in the garage a lot. But what happened is I upgraded the wheels in this car. And, uh, and when I did, it kind of got me excited about my Mustang again. So I got to looking around at Mustang stuff and came across this kit. And before you know it, here we are, supercharger on the Mustang. But uh, uh, pretty cool kit. All OEM parts. Um, it hasn't been bad. I've really taken my time installing it. I've been doing it over the last couple of weeks, and I've just do a couple of things each night, and uh, and you can go read about how to install it. But uh, but I really dig it. Like I said, all OEM parts uses uh, stock GT500 air intake, GT500 throttle body, 
GT500 takeoff supercharger. I did have to buy some pulleys. The stock Mustang 4.6 liter three valve is a uh, six rib belt. Uh, you can do a six rib, but the only belt that uh, was available that's this length that would work on this car with the added supercharger was an eight rib belt. And so you would either have to take and cut two ribs off of the eight rib belt to make it worth the trip. Or they then figured out a couple hundred more dollars and you can buy uh, pulleys. I think these come up from uh, basically the pulleys from a Lincoln Navigator or a Ford Expedition or something like that. It has an eight rib pulleys that mostly match up anyway. Somebody had done the work and figured it out. Anyway, a couple hundred more dollars to uh, switch, just leave it as an eight rib, which is better because you get more uh, uh, traction or more belt on the uh, supercharger pulley. So less chance of having a supercharger uh, slipping on the belt and doing belt damage. Uh, stock GT500 uh, coolant pump for the uh, intercooler and heat exchanger. And then the stock GT500 heat exchanger right down there. Bolts right onto the car because the GT500 and the Mustang GT were essentially the same body. A little different fascia, a little different hood. But uh, essentially that GT500 supercharger bolts right on just like it was made for. So really, really easy. Um, you know, if you're not mechanically inclined, this is probably a little tough. I'm pretty mechanically inclined, and so uh, I just took my time. I kind of enjoyed the process, uh, made sure I got all the routing done just the way I wanted it, uh, tried to make everything nice and clean. Everything's still kind of dirty. I haven't wiped anything down or washed. I had to do a, some stuff. Anyway, we'll get it cleaned up before we're all done. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and, uh, and kind of show you what I've been working on, tell you a little bit about this kit. And say, hey, thanks, Jason, for uh, developing this really, really cool kit. I really can't wait to uh, to drive it uh, once I get the tune done and get a few more things finished up on it. All right. Well, uh, again, I'm Albert with Toolmoto, and uh, thanks for watching.